Hi, guys. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a rhythm based game like Guitar Hero in Go.Engine 3. If you don't have Go.Engine installed yet, please go to the official site and download it. I've installed Go. already so let's start it. I'm creating a new project now. Okay, Go. is opened. The current version of Go. is 3.1. Let's create the road. In Guitar Hero it's called Highway, but we will call it just Road. We will keep things simple for now. Let's select Play Mesh from the default mesh list. Set scale and translation params. It looks like a road now. Oh, we are creating a game. So let's create a game scene. Looks good. Need to spawn the road scene to the game and add a camera. Camera is required to see the game content. Without a camera there will be black screen only. Good. I'm adding one more camera, just for debugging purpose. It will show top-down view. Let's start the game. It is way better now. Important, if you want to switch the camera use current checkbox in camera properties. Let's create note picker scene. It's a button that listen key presses and collects notes in the game. It just a plane too.
I'm creating a material. Let's it be just a color. Add picker to the road. Here we have an overlapping problem. To fix this, just change the picker Y position little bit higher. Adjust the scale too. Let's add three pickers. So the road will have three lines. Check this feature. You can go to the camera preview mode and adjust the position. Good job. Now it looks like something already. Now I want to add a script to the picker. It will handle controller's input and other important logic. Check out this feature. Export option means you can edit this parameter in the editor, not just in the script. Now set the right line number for each picker. This number is important because picker behavior depends on it. Let's handle input events. UI left means left arrow on the keyboard. It's a predefined actions in Go.Engine. You can create your own actions, but for now this is fully enough for us.
I'm adding some visual representation of pressed state. It will be a simple scale change for now. As you can see, it works. Let's set different color for the pickers. Now set the material based on line number. Looks more fun now. Good. 